What's going on everybody? It's Evan HGX Realtor back at it again with another video. We haven't done a long, a long, uh, long form videos in a while. So I thought we'd hit you right over the head with a little bit of wealth building knowledge. Before we get into it, you already know the drill. If you got a property that you're looking to sell in or around Houston, got any background for the, for the, shop, for the studio here, be sure to contact me using the information below. All right. So let's get into this, right? So really the reason I wanted to make this video is because, you know, growing up and just in general and uh, nobody talked about building wealth, nobody used the W word, nobody shared the tools in which you could use in which to build wealth. So today, there no shades at them, no shots at them, there's none of that. Maybe they just didn't know and they didn't have the internet like we have the internet here that you can even watch this video and even learn the things that you need to learn. Today we're going to give I'm going to give you five ways to build wealth. And so basically what these are, these are tools to add to your toolbox, right? You can use all of them, you can use none of them, but in my opinion, no matter what you're doing in life, it's better to have more tools accessible to you so that if in the rare instance uh, you need to do a job in which requires one of the specialty tools you have them and you know how to use them because they are going to be so important to building your future. If you're uh, a millennium, if you're a generation whatever, and you're trying to figure out about retirement, these are ways in which you can build wealth that, I mean, some of these, I mean, you can start out under 30 bucks doing them. So, I mean, let's go ahead and get into them. So I got five different ones and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to do individual videos on each one to give you more specific because i can give you ideas on how to make money in each one but these are just five tools that you can use like i said one like you already know evan hgx realtor number one is real estate you can build wealth in real estate there's about at least 10 different ways that you can do that from owning properties to not owning properties zero money to thousands of dollars in i mean there's tons of ways that you can build wealth with real estate now each one of these tools has different risk levels but they also have different reward levels so real estate you know risk is kind of we'll say medium to high risk but the reward is medium to high risk but at the same time it takes money to get into these and i mean you have to in, in some cases to to get those higher rewards you need to have you know a good stash of money so the barrier entry could be a little weird on these be worth it right two so this is not financial advice it's not tax advice for any of this but our tax system it is designed for number two and that's opening a small business right so there are so many ways with a small business in which you can build wealth i mean if you can if you've seen the which i'll see if i can't bring it up right here the quadrant system that robert kiyosaka talks about uh, as far as the different ways in which you can build wealth with a business you know if you have a business that's making money for you while you're not actively there man you're moving in the right direction so let's two you're talking about risk and reward risk i mean risk can be all over the place it can be high risk it can be low risk depending on what kind of business you're doing the reward is unlimited it could be anything just like real estate it could be medium it could be high it could be anything and then the intro to get into it the money that it takes to become to start a small business can be zero dollars i mean depending on what you're doing you could be consulting right number three so this one right here is um you know one that you hear people talking about all the time uh, if you work in a company that's got offers a 401k or if you heard somebody saying oh i want to invest in stocks this is the way that you do it number three is stocks you can build wealth using stocks the way that you do that is a bunch of different ways and then you can put them in certain accounts in which are a little bit more tax efficient for you and so you can use those to also protect your wealth and to build your wealth right and so in stocks right we're talking risk reward and how much to get started the risk on stocks you know they say that stocks average at like seven percent return um i would say risk moderate to maybe lower moderate right reward i mean it's solid it's a solid reward for the most part um 
you know, it's a it's a solid way that you can build wealth. I mean, people do it all the time. There's plenty of people who a, a large percentage of their net worth is in their brokerage accounts. So, and then to get into it, I mean, you could start with $100 a day. If you really wanted to, you could open a Charles Schwab account, a TD Ameritrade account. I wouldn't go with Robinhood, but you could do Robinhood. So there's plenty of ways in which you can do that. And you can start under a hundred bucks. All right, now we're gonna get into like the little bit more exotic kind of different ones that people may not think about that you can do that is kind of an alternative way cryptocurrencies all right so number four i got on here is cryptocurrency cryptocurrency i don't think is going anywhere anytime soon i believe there's probably going to be more laws passed in it but this is one way in which you can do it um risk reward money to get into it risk uh i'd probably say pretty medium to high probably close to the high risk reward probably medium to high risk uh it's it's a little touch and go right now but what it is is you're converting your money into a different type of currency it's a way that you can build wealth people are doing it now i mean this is like the new era of things in which you can do as far as money to put into it you can start as little as 50 bucks i mean you can start with whatever you want it to same thing just like the other ones this is number four remember what we're doing here is adding tools to your toolbox right and then the more tools you have in the toolbox you can use all of them you can use none of them it's all up to you number five all right so this is the final one that i can say and like i said each one of these added together have different risk levels they have different reward levels but if you are using all of them at your disposal man you can really do some damage right and it's it's like death by a thousand cuts that's kind of the idea here you want a little bit in every single bucket some people want to go all in on one or the other you do whatever you need to do i'm just here providing the tools for you number five in my opinion is precious metals so yes people get kind of touchy-feely about precious metals as to whether or not it's even a you know way that you can build with people have been using precious metals for thousands and thousands of years i mean how many years i mean it goes back to the egyptians you know what i mean in Jesus' time they had gold and shillings and every other type of currency that they were using at that time and it was gold and silver so risk reward risk very low very low to minimal to medium uh, as far as risk on precious metals they're kind of so so i mean they they're just like the, they're like bonds you know what i mean in my opinion they just uh you know they don't lose value they just kind of like that this steady value throughout time rewards so much like i was saying with bonds precious metals you ain't gonna uh, hit it rich and then you know be a millionaire overnight this isn't something that you're gonna like you know go crazy and you do one deal and you made a whole bunch of money right precious metals is about preserving the wealth each one of these tools is, does a different thing preservation of wealth whereas real estate having a business and stocks are building it precious metals is uh preserving it preserving the wealth right so reward minimal to we'll just say minimal but it's a solid reward right because you can it's semi safe right and then as far as getting started in, i mean you could buy a piece of silver for like 30 bucks you know what i mean so i mean it's it, the barrier to entry is just as low as all the other ones i mean you could do any of these so I hope that you can use some of the tools that you've learned here today to start building some wealth and you don't have to do all of them in one go. You can start with one. I mean, any of these you can start today and start, uh, you know, put, filling up each one of these buckets. Before you know it, if you got all these buckets filled, you keep adding more buckets and more buckets and it's just death by a thousand cuts where it just over time, if, you know, progress happens over time, not overnight. and you know you can really truly build the type of wealth that you're looking for if you don't believe me just try it just start with any of these and i promise you you're gonna start seeing some value being built and just be patient with it because it's going to take time you're not going to just wake up but you know you do this for so many years man before you know it, you're gonna be ahead of the game nobody ever told me that and that's why i want to share it with you because like i said nobody was telling me any of this right nobody was telling me that you could do this and how easy some of these things are it's not rocket science that's me evan hcx realtor be safe drive safe and drink water people let me know in the comments below what y'all think 
crazy, great ideas, you tell me. I'll catch you all in the next one.